When the whole cannibalism procedure was established and disclosed in Season 2, Episode 8, Yellow Jackets paid off its series' opening scene. Here is a breakdown and explanation of the sacrificial ritual from beginning to end. The series premiere of Yellow Jackets, which featured teenage masked characters in the forest seeking down a character who would later become known as the infamous Pit Girl, immediately caught the attention of viewers. The masked assailant strung the victim upside down after she was caught in a tiger trap, and later footage saw them huddling around a fire with the strange antler queen commander, while chowing down on an unidentified meat feast. The promise that descent into ritualized cannibalism would be depicted on Yellow Jackets kept viewers hooked through both respective seasons, but their first venture into the act happened rather unexpectedly. While the pit girl wearing Jackie's necklace ultimately foreshadowed her demise and consumption, how the tea made her went down differently than what was shown in episode 1 and made audiences question precisely how the girls devolve into hunting their own rather than just consuming their dead. In a surprising move, the origin of the ritual was revealed just before the Yellow Jackets season 2 finale, showing just how the pit girl and the rest of the victims will meet their end. The Queen of Hearts card determines the next Yellow Jacket victim. The first step of the sacrificial ritual sees the unlucky girl who draws the Queen of Hearts card as the victim that the wilderness has chosen to be sacrificed. Putting Lottie's Queen of Hearts vision into a whole new light, the deck of cards itself has been a part of the survivors' daily lives in a more mundane way up until this point. In Yellow Jackets Season 2, Episode 5, it was established that the cards represent different chores that the survivors must perform, and they pick from the deck randomly to determine their duties for the day. One of the cards now has a completely new purpose, though. Each survivor chooses a card from the deck after one of the group members has shuffled the cards after laying offerings in the center of the circle. The next victim of the Yellow Jackets will be whoever had the bad luck to draw the Queen of Hearts, and the rest of the group will eat them to ensure their survival. Surprisingly, this was hinted to twice in the show once with Lottie's vision, and once in a throwaway sentence during Travis's patience game in season 1. While Travis is playing, Natalie remarks to him that there are no queens in that deck. The next Yellow Jackets victim wears Jackie's necklace, after the victim has been selected, Jackie's necklace is placed around their throat to mark them. In the Yellow Jackets premiere episode, the pit girl was clearly shown wearing the necklace, spurring on plenty of theories as to how and why the necklace plays a role. Many thought this indicated that Jackie was the pit girl, but that was disproved in the season 1 finale. Then came a flurry of questions about how the necklace ended up in the pit girl's possession, with conjectures like the pit girl may have stolen it, or it was the Yellow Jackets version of the Lord of the Flies conch. It turns out that the necklace's function in the rite of sacrificial cannibalism is more symbolic. A nickname for the wilderness's selection has been given to Jackie's necklace because she was the first girl to be devoured, and the girls are gradually coming to believe that the wilderness is the one deciding who lives and dies. It's crucial to understand that once someone becomes a victim, they are no longer seen as a human in the group's eyes, but rather as an animal to be killed and eaten. The act basically marks one for death. Just before the team devours Jackie, Shauna says that she believes Jackie wants them to. This is supported by her remarks. The Yellow Jackets hunt their victim, the sacrificial ritual didn't go according to plan but based on the series premiere, it seems that the hunt becomes an important part of the ritual. Once the victim has been selected and marked for death, the team must hunt down their kill. In the latest installment, Natalie was the one to draw the Queen of Hearts and don Jackie's necklace. However, when Shauna was about to slit her throat, Travis fought the other girls off and told Natalie to run. This resulted in an all-out primal chase scene, as the girls made animal noises while hunting her through the woods. Javi attempted to save Natalie by bringing her to where Javi had been hidden for two months, but he perished after falling through a thin patch of ice. Instead, the girls claimed Javi as their intended next victim, and Van enforced this claim by asserting that the wilderness made the decision. According to the flashback in Yellow Jackets Episode 1, the initially impromptu hunt turns into a key component of the sacrifice ceremony. It would make sense for the cardinal entity to prefer forcing the survivors to engage in a food hunt than simply murdering their victim. Does a hunt that has no violence feed anyone? The Antler Queen asked. 
What we know about the Yellow Jackets cannibal ritual, while the Yellow Jackets cannibalism ritual past this point hasn't been shown yet, what happens next can be gathered from the series premiere and what happened to Jackie's body. The Yellow Jackets pilot script revealed the names of some of the masked acolytes, denoting their role in the process. The names that were printed on the pilot script were the hunter, butcher, the overseer, and the shaman. Based on the pre-established roles in the survivor group and the script, Lottie is the shaman, Shauna is the butcher, Misty is the overseer, and Natalie is probably the hunter. The butcher kills the Yellow Jackets victim after they have been tracked down, if they are not already dead, and hangs them upside down. The victim is presumably then dressed and butchered in the same manner as a deer. The corpse is prepared, portioned, and cooked similarly to Jackie's, and then it is served before the rest of the party. Even though it's a particularly painful and terrifying process, it plays a crucial role in the Yellow Jacket's ritualistic cannibalism of sacrifice. The fact that such a horrible deed should be carried out in such a callous and habitual manner speaks, in particular, to the darkness of the thing they worship. What wasn't realized in the premiere episode of Yellow Jackets is just how large a role the wilderness entity plays in the sacrificial cannibalism ritual. It seems that Lottie must defer to the wilderness before the girls are allowed to eat, and season 2, episode 8, showed that the wilderness chooses the victim, and that the team must make offerings before the cards can even be drawn.